bounds. And we're back with another video. When you see a smile on my face like this, you always know what day it is. I get to try out a new cereal. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Let's get right into this. Today, we're going to be checking out... It's Nature's Path Organics. Peanut Butter Panda Puffs. Now with a new look. I didn't see the old look. While this isn't a new cereal, it's going to be new to me. It wasn't available in my area until recently, and I just came across it last week in the store. Thought I'd pick it up. Give it a go. Because I love cereal, and you know I love peanut butter. Let's get into it and take a look. So for a 30 gram serving, we're looking at 130 calories, 3.5 grams of fat, 23 grams of carbs, 2 grams of fiber, 7 grams of sugar, and 2 grams of protein. So I guess this is one of those organic cereals where they boot that there's no weird additives like corn syrup, stuff like that. But it's cereal, it's fun, who cares? The thing I'm interested in, it says peanut butter. So everything else is at the door anyway. Let's go, bust it open, take a look, pour up a bowl. Looks like your typical corn puff. Uh, not as coated as looking as like a Reese one. Let's bust it open. Gonna put it back in the box just for safe pouring into the bowl. I'm definitely getting the smell of peanut butter off it. And that makes me happy. So we got ourselves a bowl. We got ourselves a box of cereal. Let's combine the two. So as always, we're checking it out two ways. Dry and in milk. Let's check out the dry. Oh. Really crunchy. Wow. This, this is like corn pops. Not as soft as like the Reese's Cup one. Very crunchy. It almost seems like there's like a major coating on the go. I want to try to see. I didn't get a whole lot of peanut butter taste, but I want to. Let's try it again. It's there, but it's very slight. Sorry. It's there, but it's very slight. So I like the crunchiness, I like the level of sweetness, but like I said, there's not a whole lot of peanut butter taste going on here. But let's hit it with some milk and see if that brings it the peanut butter flavor a bit more. As you guys know, milk of choice. Let's give it a minute to soak in the milk just to see if it brings it a little bit of that peanut butter taste. It's long enough, let's give it a try. I gotta give it, guys. I still got hope for this. I gotta give it one more scoop just to, just to make sure before I say it. Before I say anything, I gotta give it one more scoop. Every bit of peanut butter has disappeared. Oh wait, a little tiny bit. Guys, guys, guys. I didn't think I could be let down by two things I love, which is peanut butter and cereal, but. There's not a whole lot of peanut butter going on here. You got a little bit. But it is holding up great in milk. Great crunch. Nice flavor to the puff. But, like I said, it's not a strong peanut butter. It's not as strong as, like, the Reese's Puff peanut butter. I think it might be where it's actually lacking a bit of sweetness. It's a good level of sweetness, but it's lacking that peanut butter taste. Good texture, good crunch, holding up great in milk. It's nothing I'd rush out and get, or nothing I'd go in my way to buy. But if you want to feel better by buying something that says organic on it, definitely check it out. Might be worth a go, but it's definitely not going to make my top 10. Ron's going to give the peanut butter panda puffs a 6.5 out of 10. Nothing to go out of your way for, but if you love peanut butter, it is there slightly. Great texture, holds up great in milk. You might want to change it up for your breakfast, so give it a go. Alright guys. This has been Ron Reviews, and see you next time.